Welcome to Blood, Bath & Beyond. Today we review Unfriended. Written by Nelson Greaves, directed by Levin Gavardis, starring Shelley Hennig and Moses Jacob Storm. Unfriended is about a group of teens meeting on Skype when they get a message from their dead friend. And now the past has come back to haunt them. So what do we like about this? I like the unique take that they did with the horror genre because this is something we have never seen where an entire movie takes place on the computer. I mean, we've seen something similar in The Den, but I think they really, really executed it well. I thought it was a great twist on the usual shaky cam footage we get for like those found footage kind of movies. Being that this movie took place entirely on this girl's laptop, I really like that they used all of the native app sounds, they, all the graphics. If you're looking at iMessage, it looks just like iMessage. Every single thing that they used was a real program and it's something that we never get to see in any film. This was a movie for teens. It's something they're familiar with. In their mind, it's like, well, what if I go on my computer and this happens? And that's what I love about this film. Cyberbullying is a huge issue right now. This is almost a PSA for cyberbullying. If you treat people like shit, you can cause real damage and sometimes it has lasting effects. Each character had a specific role they had to play and they nailed it. It wasn't that they were trying to stereotype the teens, it was more they were trying to create a specific teen like society issue, like with each one. Like they were trying to create something that would introduce this drama. And since we got a first person perspective of Blair, she would type something and then wouldn't send it. Then she'd kind of think about it for a second and change it. So you kind of got to see her thought process and like how she was trying to save her words. And it's like, I could really relate to that. I like the way that they built tension using some of like the devices, like downloading a file and you just have like the progress bar, like slowly creeping along. You're just like, come on, hurry up and download. Come on, I want to see the picture. Yeah. And so like, you really just wanted to keep watching. <laughs> I was never bored watching this movie. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was really nervous about going in. I love that you can hear the hard drive being read on the MacBook. <laughs> you can hear the very specific sweet sound of a Mac keyboard as she typed. I love that sound and I know everybody who has one is just like, oh yeah, I know that's a Mac. So what didn't we like? I felt that there was gonna be so much more paranormal activity happening not on the computer screen. I like the idea of the imagination and not knowing, but when you're showing me stuff in a trailer, I'm gonna expect it in the film. And just the deaths themselves, it was, I wanted like more detail and not just like, oh my God, like they're dead now. It's like, okay, well, like show us. Like, I think when people died, they kind of forgot about them almost immediately. They went into like survival mode as soon as someone died. They're just like, I need to save myself and that's it. I get that maybe the directors or the writers trying to go with like these people are selfish and like they don't care about anyone else's feelings, but it was a bit too heartless. They're being baited and they know this. And like Blair says it numerous times, then when something happens to Blair, she's like, F you, F you, I'm not a slut. Like she doesn't follow her own advice. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. I really enjoyed Unfriended. This was done in such a unique way that I was engaged the entire time. It wasn't as scary as I thought, but it was still very, very tense. Well, it had a few minor issues with some of the way that the characters dealt with the deaths of their friends and possibly the immediate ending. I thought it was really, really solid and I think you should probably check it out. So I'm giving this four glitches out of five. This is probably a glitch. Well, the glitch just typed. I love paranormal movies. They're one of my favorites. So I was going into this with a lot of high expectations. The problem that I have with this film is it didn't deliver what I thought it was going to be. And I feel a lot of people going into this film are gonna feel the same way. At the end of the day, this was still a really good movie. It had a great technique and a different play on the genre. The tension was high, the scares were good, and the story was enjoyable. So that being said, I'm gonna give this three and a half Skype calls out of five. I really liked the concept behind this movie. All of us use social media every day, and I like that they really integrated that with horror and gave it the whole paranormal treatment. I thought the acting was great, everyone felt really natural, and it was almost like the movie was shot ad-libbed. I think they could have played up the paranormal entity a little bit better and seen, I, I wanted like more of that in the video instead of just like messages. Like we get that she's talking to everyone and they're trying to play with them, but I kind of wanted to see her more and to see what she can do. Other than that, I thought it was very well done. Uh, the editing was great and they had really high production value. So with all that said, I'm about to give this movie three and a half default avatars out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and let us know in the comments what you thought of Unfriended. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to stay updated with everything we're doing here on Bloodbath and Beyond.